one has a unique and extremely strong first line of defense, which is more than enough to deter and neutralize any potential threat against the nation's leader. In what seems like a list of ideas from a James Bond film, the presidential limo is stacked to the brim with state-of-the-art systems. We're talking night vision to detect threats in the darkest of environments, smoke screens to create confusion and distraction, allowing for a quick getaway, and perhaps most 007-worthy, the ability to lay down an oil slick, sending chasing vehicles spinning wildly out of control. The cabin can also be completely sealed with a mere push of a button, a button to which only the president has access. If all of these tactics fail and the threat gets close enough to open the car door, the staff can electrify the door handles, sending a disarming shockwave through anyone who might be trying to get inside. But if, and that's a big if, the beast finds itself in unexpected combat and sustains damage, the Secret Service will be able to mobilize in rapid time. You see, this custom Cadillac is just one of a dozen in the White House collection. As you'd expect, just one of these bad boys is expensive enough. With 12, the costs soar drastically. The entire contract is estimated to be worth $15.8 million, which, if you ask the government, is a small price to pay to keep one of the world's most powerful people safe. But if something does go wrong, or on the flip side, if the president decides out of the blue that he just needs to chow down on a cheeseburger or two, his limo is fitted with the most advanced communications equipment. Inside the car's main cabin, where you'll typically find the president sitting with a few of his guests or direct staff, there's a phone. This isn't just working on your regular AT&T network. The phone operates via satellite, offering direct access to call either the Pentagon or the vice president. So in case of an emergency, there will always be means of contact available. The list of elite communications technologies doesn't end there. Among other things, Cadillac One offers the unique ability to dispatch codes, codes which, frighteningly, can launch nuclear weapons. Gee, wouldn't want to press the wrong button. The build of the car itself, to scratch that, the build of the mobile bunker, features only the strongest and sturdiest materials. The body of the car is made up of impenetrable 5-inch thick armor, a mesh of steel, aluminum, ceramic, and titanium. In spaces where ordinary cars would be most exposed, like where the door meets the car frame or where panels join together, the beast is completely secure. A lining of steel reinforces any gaps, ensuring that nothing can get in or out. When the doors are closed, they form a 100% seal to protect the occupants in the events of a chemical attack. The undercarriage is protected too, made of reinforced steel with additional steel plates for yet another layer of defense, the chassis is ready to withstand any land-based explosions. Oh, and so is the fuel tank. The car can deploy a special foam that will prevent the tank from exploding in the event of any damage. The latest version of the Beast was commissioned by the Secret Service in 2018. However, this isn't the first of its kind. The inaugural Beast hit the road during the Obama administration, a custom Cadillac DTS introduced in 2009. It had a visibly imposing stance, was much heavier than its predecessor, and came with Kevlar-reinforced heavy-duty tires, which are usually found on trucks. Before the Beast came into effect, President Bill Clinton was using a 1993 Cadillac Fleetwood as his presidential state car, while President Reagan operated inside a modified 22-foot-long 1972 Lincoln Continental, all customized with the best protection equipment available at the time, of course. Two decades earlier, in 1961, President John F. Kennedy took the helm inside that famous dark blue 1961 Lincoln Continental. It cost almost $200,000 at the time, deliberately kept as a convertible car, while this made him more visible to the public, increasing his relatability. Unfortunately, it also made